Does the beach full of skeletons as if animals and humans have died in being left there for years. But it is true or no? Stay with us. Hello guys, welcome to a new video on the Black Ocean family. Today we're gonna talk about Namibia's Skeleton Coast. One of the scariest and strangest places in the world is definitely Namibia's Skeleton's Beach. This beach is not only littered with carcasses of dead animals, but also several ships that have been worked on the sandy shores. The cold water current of Venezuela collides with the extremely hot and dry air of the Nime Desert. As a result, a thick and cold fog spreads over the sea. Wind and currents combine to produce a force that moves relentlessly toward the shore. This condition caused sailors to call this coastline which is stretched for about 1,579 kilometers, the skeleton's coast of Namibia. This beach has been the graveyard of unlucky sailors and sailors whose ship dug into the swallow waters of the highest part of the world. Although this beach is abandoned in its scurry, but believe me, it is really beautiful. Many of these remains and skeletons have been destroyed by the strong sun that shines or have been deformed by the salt water of the sea. But you can still see some of these skeletons and be amazed. Here you are with the facts about Namibia's skeleton coast. The sound of a coastal storm. This is the only place on earth where a lucky and timely visitor can hear the sand dance. In the air, billion of grains of sand create a soft roar that many tourists look for and think that there is an airline overhead. This is the animal cemetery. The harsh climate and lack of water in this area make the chance of life on Namibia's skeleton coast to minimum and for this reason is addition to shipwrecks you will find the skeleton of different animals from fish to birds. Among the sands of this beach you can see everything from elephant ribs to turtle skeletons or water break. The Portuguese call this beach the gate of hell, while the locals describe as it the land that God made in anger. This area is full of sea urchins. More than 250,000 Cape Fio seals live in the Cape Cross Seal Reserve. If you are in the right place, you can see them making noise, resting in the sun, fighting or playing. If you really want to see these playful jewels, the best time to visit in mid-October or late October, when the males are fighting to breed, or in November or early December, when there are many baby jaws. Arthur Bourne, Nabiya's skeleton curse is very interesting and exciting. Cap Fair Seals Many people have been lost here and have never been found. Too many sailors who cannot be counted have been stranded on this beach and have been stranded looking for a hope of rescue. In 1940, a large number of human skeletons were found on Namibia's skeleton coast, which was a very sad sense. A stone slab was found in this area, on which someone had covered these words. I'm following a river to the north. God help him if anyone finds this and looks for me. These found skeletons were related to the K ship that was destroyed 80 years before in 1860s. Thank you guys for watching. I love you and take care of yourself. I will see you tomorrow with a new subject. Here you are guys. We recommended movie and book fair today. For now, goodbye.